Hey everyone, welcome to my new video series on clean coding principles. Over the next few weeks, we'll be exploring various techniques and best practices that will help you write cleaner, more maintainable code. Let me start with the story. In the early 2000s, I worked on a project where we took over the maintenance of a large C++ code base. The number of shady bugs in the code was extremely high. The code base was a hot mess, there were no established naming conventions and the memory management was haphazard, causing sporadic crashes. It was nearly impossible to understand what was going on in the code or even to reproduce the bugs reported by users. We spent the first few months trying to understand the code base and fix the worst issues. One of the first things we did was to apply the company's naming conventions, and we also fixed most memory management issues. We kept working on the code base and gradually made it more modular and maintainable. However, after several years, we started to realize that the initial architecture was still holding us back. Despite our extensive refactoring efforts, the underlying weaknesses could not be fully overcome. After much discussion and debate, we made the difficult decision to redesign the entire project from scratch. It was a long and painful process, but ultimately it was the right decision. We were able to establish a clean, modular architecture, and we implemented strict naming conventions and memory management practices from the very beginning. The new code base was a vast improvement over the old one. It was easier to maintain and we were able to fix bugs much more quickly and efficiently. We learned the hard way that sometimes it's better to start from scratch rather than try to fix a code base that is too far gone. In today's video, we're gonna discuss one of the most important aspects of writing clean code, naming conventions. Specifically, I'll cover why it's important to choose meaningful names for your variables and functions. Although I'll be using Python throughout this video, these principles are universal and can be applied to any programming language. So grab a cup of coffee and get ready to dive into the wonderful world of naming conventions. Let's go! Consider the following Python code. This function works perfectly fine. If I run it, it will produce this output. But can you tell me what A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and F stand for? I know, this example may seem like an exaggeration, but unfortunately, I've seen similar abominations in production code before. So, let's try to come up with more meaningful names. First, I'll rename the function to calculate total cost. The input parameters come next. I'll name the first parameter quantity, but instead of manually renaming it, I'm going to use the editor's rename symbol command. To use this command, simply right-click on the variable, parameter, or function name you want to rename, and select rename symbol from the context menu. This will bring up a dialog box where you can enter the new name. As you can see, the parameter name was updated in the parameter list and here at line 2 as well. This approach has the added benefit of replacing all the occurrences of the variable or parameter in your code. We'll rename the second parameter next. I use the same approach, right click, rename symbol, and I'll call it unit price. And the third one, tax rate. Next, I'll rename the first variable. Let's call it subtotal. And I'll replace y with total tax. And finally, z should be total cost. And our function is not called f anymore, so let's replace this occurrence with calculate total cost. And everything should run as before. And here's the final code. Now it's clear what this function does and what these variables and parameters represent, 
and anyone reading your code will be able to understand what's going on much more easily. The renaming may seem like a quick and easy process. However, in reality, it can be quite time-consuming to reverse engineer the code to find out what each parameter, function, and variable represents. In a large code base with many classes, methods, parameters, variables, this problem becomes even more pronounced. That's why it's crucial to establish good naming conventions from the beginning of a project. Also, if you choose meaningful names, you may not even need to include comments because your code is self-explanatory. That's it for today's video on naming conventions. Remember, adhering to naming conventions is essential for writing readable and maintainable code. By following simple guidelines, you will make it much easier for others to understand your code and you will save yourself a lot of headaches down the line. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.